chemical engineering is like one of the highest paying jobs in Jamaica. Oh, every day we lit. Yeah. <laughs> So, welcome to my YouTube channel guys, um, I've been loving the support that I've been getting from all of you. Thank you for subscribing to my videos, thank you for watching and for sharing my videos. I just want a quick shout out to Kelly, the link in below, um, some of my recent subscribers that I want to shout out. Birdland, I think Birdland, but I'll put the link um, below. So, as you know, I'm a chemical engineer. There are lots of misconceptions that people have, well I had. And things that I would have wanted somebody to tell me but these are some of the things that I've experienced so far firstly as a chemical engineer I remember wanting to become a chemical engineer because I heard that chemical engineers make a lot of money I wanted something that challenged me because I like I don't want to do something that is just a basic job where you just sit down the whole day around this computer desk and just be punching in numbers and digits like no i remember when i just started out my first chemical engineering job and one of the first things that i realized is that you're working with a whole lot of men like a whole lot pure men some look good some good looking ones and some not so good looking ones i was probably one of two females that literally worked in the whole entire plant so yeah, that was all it. Mm -hmm. so, you have a lot of hard hands on work that you have to do. Climbing you know, how many tanks and all of them, something they just to do. People like me. Mm -hmm. no, no. I had this huge, massive problem that um, basically I was given in a particular area, the department that I was working in. Like the company was losing a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money. And it's like, honestly, because I took my work, I took my work so personal at one point, it's like it was affecting me. It was like I was failing when my ear was failing. As an engineer, in a different area, in the different areas, it's like everybody want them area to look good. You don't want at no point your area to hold up the production. You don't want at no point a year area make the company I lose money. So it's like you try to spend hours and hours try to just resolve the problem. Engineers, it's like them always in a competitive mode. Them always a try to compete and a try to stay relevant. And all them war is through emails so them have back and forth emails people are tag all 100 people <laughs> send email to send email back with all kind of shadiness that's a you engineer shadiness engineers really kind of competitive and always want to like prove themselves see I, I think one of the most rewarding things about being an engineer is when you get a problem and you solve finally resolve the problem it was like the most rewarding thing ever it was like just Euphoria, ultimate euphoria. Ah, most most guys have earned me. Ow, ow. Able to apply all of the things them that you learn in school, all of the principles them, all of the theory you have to be able to apply that in a practical sense to the the systems that you are going to be dealing with. Yeah, and as a female engineer, you not get no farmer preference. They must take for a farm tree that's sixty five and a half day out of the year, like every other else engineer please subscribe and don't forget to like and leave your comments below on any video suggestions